Hey everyone, welcome to another Canvas Tips and Tricks video. In this video, we're going to cover how to manage and extend access for students who are incomplete at the end of the term. Now this video only addresses the technical side of an incomplete, so if you need more details on the procedure for approving a student or giving an incomplete grade, please contact your dean for more details. So here's how this works. I'm going to do a quick summary of the steps we're going to complete in this video. First, we're going to set up a sandbox course shell, which is just a blank Canvas course with zero student enrollments. Then we're going to import your course content. Next, we'll adjust the assignment due dates in one batch. And finally, we'll make the course self-enrolling so that we can email that link to the incomplete student so they can self-enroll in your course and submit the work on your extended timeline. That seems like a lot, but it should only take a few minutes, so let's dive in. Once you're logged into Canvas, you'll create a sandbox course by clicking on Start a New Course to the right on your dashboard. Name your course, then click Create Course. Now we'll import your previous course content by clicking on Import Existing Content to the right. Select Copy a Canvas Course, then choose your course to copy. Now that I've selected my course, I can either import the entire course or I can choose to select specific content if the student only has a few items left to complete. If you want to select specific content, you'll do so on the next screen after clicking Import. So now, no matter what you chose, you'll adjust the events and due dates. I recommend removing the dates at this point, as shifting the dates can sometimes result in unexpected changes. Now click Import. If you've chosen to select specific content to import, you'll now see the option to select specific content. Otherwise, the entire course's content will begin to import right away. I'm going to select just the final module to import in this example. Now my import will begin. Great, my import completed and I can click on Home to review my content. So now we have a course with content but no dates. Typically instructors will give students one final date to submit their coursework. So I recommend going into your assignments and setting that final date for all of the assignments in the course in one batch. To do this, we'll click on Assignments, and then click on the three dots to the top right. Select Edit Assignment Dates, and give that final date to all of the assignments and click Save. In this example, I selected June 30th for the due date and the available until date. I've chosen to provide both due dates and available until dates because that will lock the students out of submitting the assignments past that until date. You can leave this as open-ended as you'd like. Do whatever you think is best and most clear for your students. Remember to click Save. Now for the next step. We're going to go into the course settings and make this a self-enrolling course. This will give us a link to send the student to self-enroll. To do this, click on Settings. Then scroll all the way to the bottom and click on Options to expand our advanced options. Select the option that says let students self-enroll by sharing with them a secret URL. Then click Update Course Details at the bottom. This will save your changes and it will generate a link that you can copy and email to your incomplete students. The link is here at the bottom of your course settings page. Highlight the link, right click to copy, 
then email this link to your students. They just need to click that link that you email them and they'll be self-enrolled in your course. Last but not least, don't forget to publish your course and your content. Click on Home. Make sure all of your check marks are green. Then make sure your course is published. Students will not be able to access your course or content until you've published it. Now we've done quite a few steps here, so if you have trouble with any of these steps, please let me know and I can help. To summarize, we created a sandbox course, copied your content, adjusted the dates, and then made the course self-enrolling so that you could email the link out to your students. When the student has submitted all of the content and you've entered their final grades in pause, you can conclude this course by clicking on Conclude Course in that course's settings, which will remove it from your dashboard. I hope this video has been helpful. For more tips and tricks, go to hartnell.edu slash pdc slash canvas. Thanks for watching.